Islanders, welcome to another sea adventure. This time on the micro tiny boat, the inflatable. Just set it up, took no time at all. Today's mission, we're gonna push out of Laxey Harbour, head along out to sea a little bit, do a bit of a speed test, and uh, hopefully pull up to a nice stony beach and get some coffee. Yeah, the weather couldn't be better. There's not an ounce of swell. There she is. Let's do it. guys while well, we left Laxey now we got the fishing rod as well you never know this is amazing what a flat calm it is we do get dolphins in this bay sometimes actually but uh not so much in winter there's two that seem to stick around here so <laughs> the island beautiful two days ago it was completely covered in snow where we're going to go now, Garwick, I think from what I can see still has a little bit of snow over there. So what I think I need to do is get a tiller extension handle so I can sit more in the middle of the boat because as I'm riding along, it's sitting quite high. Okay, right. Boat speed. This will do knots. Kill cord is on. Five knots. Yes, mate. She is rapid, actually, to be fair. I'm quite happy with that. Good little lap, that. She knocked off the motor. First beach landing on the boat. It's a bit of a stony one as well. First thing I'm going to do is fire up the drone, do a quick aerial recce. I've got no depth finder on this. Make sure I'm not going to hit any rocks. Visibility is pretty good today from what I can see. And then uh, we'll, we'll send it in. Let's do it. Send it.
Welcome to Garwick, guys. So this is where, uh, this is going to be the coffee setup. We've got a jet boil, coffee press, and obviously a mug. And this is actually ice. I was going to melt some of this, but there's a lovely little stream over here. As you can see, running straight off the hills. So that is going to be my water source. What a beautiful spot, guys. So this place here, Garwick, is renowned for being a smuggler's area back in the day. There's uh, various caves here that you can go in. I've camped here before. I'll link a video here where I explored this beach a little bit more. There's a shipwreck about 50 meters out, maybe 60. An old steam trawler from back in the day sunk. So a lot of what's on the beach, if we can find any today, So a lot of uh, a lot of the stones in that here are actually like coal. You can see it in it. It's all like pitted. Again, I found some on that other video. Right, let's enjoy that coffee. Mm. Suitably caffeinated. Let's get back in the water. I was mega impressed with 17 knots out of this thing. What a beast. Let's get out of here. Smooth. Oh. We'll row into deeper water and I'll fire up the engine again. Gonna have a couple of casts, see what's around. Well, no fish, but that's not unusual. There's some great videos, by the way, being released by the government here, because the Isle of Man is a UNESCO biosphere, showing 10 of the nature reserves. There's like sharks in Port St. Mary, there's octopus in Port Erin, I don't know, gray seals, you name it. It's well worth check out. I'll link it in description. I'm loving this little boat. Not bad for January, is it? There we go. Right, I'm gonna get back to Laxey. I'll leave the video here, guys. Thanks again for joining me on their micro tiny sib adventure. This thing is fantastic. I did get asked in the comments, by the way, um, on the last video, how long did this take to inflate? So I timed it today and it took me about eight minutes from, but I use a battery operated pump uh, using 12 volt batteries. Yeah, eight minutes from basically unloading it to pump it up. And then you've got to take into account putting on the trailer, putting it in the sea, putting your outboard on, doing your checks. But yeah, always remember your kill cord. These things bounce you around a bit. If you get bounced out of one of these and it just carries on, it's not good. Bye right, guys. Have a great week. See you on the next adventure.